Hey guys, it's everything always works out for me. This is Mo Fall. And here I am. So this is uh, a really fun topic for me. Everything always works out for me. I got to make sure I start my periscopes with my favorite saying. And again, welcome to Coral Springs, Florida. As we get situated here, welcome to my beautiful home and backyard. And I noticed uh, behind us is my wonderful hibiscus that has been flowering for weeks. And all of a sudden, hey, Melissa, all of a sudden, my hibiscus tree has been cut back by the folks who take care of my yard. And I'm going to get to that today. I'm going to get to that. Hey, Ross. Good morning, L.A. So, it is a wonderful topic today. I was vacationing. Oh, low battery warning. What? I was vacationing last week, and I was in Paso Robles, California, in the U.S. of A. Hello, Salvage Boutique. Um, and I was running through the vineyards, and a beautiful, dewy morning, springtime, all the possibilities and wonderfulness is in the air. And I got so inspired by what I saw in the vineyard that I had to write about it. So for those of you who don't know me, if you're new to me, if you are just showing up on Periscope, my favorite saying is everything always works out for me. This is Coach Mo Fall, and I'm found at MoFall.com. And everything always works out for me is a saying I've had around for several years because you're going to think thoughts anyway. You might as well think about everything always working out for you. So, again, if you want to know where to find me and who the heck I am, whoop, screenshot, Mo Fall. I am America's kick-ass career coach. These are kind and gentle periscopes, though. I don't do any ass-kicking on my periscopes. I swear. Except I might ask for a couple of hearts, so go ahead and tap your screen. I want to remember you that my main theme of doing these periscopes on Motivational Monday thank you very much for the love motivational Monday is because I want you to start your week off with the best theme of your week your number one job is you no matter what your job career aspirations or current situation your number one job is you no one is going to take care of your career more than you no one no one so let's get real and get into the driver's seat of your career. So, since your number one job is you, I thought I would start a little, um, if you want to tweet while you're periscoping, you might want to do a little hashtag Monday Motivation. I'll, although I'll go with uh, Motivational Monday as well, but I think uh, Monday Motivation is a hashtag that's pretty popular. So let's tag on to the popular hashtags. So, and if you're not, if you're new to Periscope or you're new to Twitter, uh, welcome aboard and take advantage of all of the wonderful, wonderful things that are available in social media. It's a wide open world now, thanks to all this wonderful social media and this. And on Twitter, uh, my team and I share a lot of extra resources and fun stuff. So follow me on Twitter, favorite my st stuff, retweet it because there's a lot of cool stuff I get from a lot of different resources out there on the internet there are some fantastic career resources out there so this is America's kick-ass career coach Mo Fall and I've got a doozy of a topic for you today it is everything I learned about life and career in the vineyard yep last week I learned everything about life and career in a wonderful vineyard in Paso Robles California so I'm gonna share with you what I found and what I saw. First of all, if you go to my blog at mofall.com slash blog, or just do mofall.com and go to my blog, you're gonna see a beautiful sweeping picture of a fantastic vineyard. And I saw for miles these beautiful grapevines stretching out miles and miles, carefully manicured, beautifully straight lines up and down hills, just a, a feat of landscaping architecture 
just to see the vineyards spreading out in straight lines, whether they were going up or down a hill or straight. It's unbelievable what those planters and farmers and vintners can do. So as I got close to the vineyards, as I got close to the grape vines planted, I noticed a few things. Number one, the young grape vines are skinny little, skinny little shoots coming out of the ground, no more than a broomstick. And those are young, new grapes. They don't have as much to offer. Anyone over the age of 40? Pay heed to this. They don't have as much to offer those young shoots as do the big, wide, big, wide trunks of the 20 plus year old vines. And when you have those old vines, a couple of wonderful things happen. Hey, Omar, how you doing? A couple of wonderful things happen. So for those of you who are new to my presentation today, it's everything I learned about life and career in the vineyard. Yes, grape growing has a lot to teach us. So those big older vines, in French, they're called via vang. They're the vines of aged vines. I probably didn't say that right for any of you from France who are watching. Number one, don't cling too tightly. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that because that may be your growth message for this periscope. Don't cling too tightly to the support post that is near you. I saw some of these vines wrapped around and twisted around the post that they were growing next to. And I thought, wow, that must be much more difficult to grow if they're all twisted because there's got to be energy around the twisting turns. And many of the older shoots were just straight up and down on the post. And that looked more efficient to me. So I want to make sure that no matter who your support system is, no matter how strong your support system is, don't cling too tightly because it's really about your career and your life and your job. So you can grow with your support, but don't get yourself all twisted and wrapped up on your support system. Grow nice and straight and tall yourself. So number one, don't cling too tightly. How's that for a life and career lesson? We could, we could probably do a whole entire post just on that. I like that philosophy. Great. So here's number two. All right. Spread your branches. That gives you more surface area to grow. Spread your branches. I follow that system already. Good for you. Awesome. So spread your branches. You know, when I saw these beautiful vine shoots coming out, they opened up into like a T shape. Open the arms. And they had shoots coming out of the T-shape all across the top. Much more efficient and effective and much more growth happening when we open our branches to expand. If we kept our branches close and tight, we'd only have shoots coming out here. But when we open, we can expand and grow further. So number one is don't cling too tightly to your support system. Number two is spread your branches give yourself more surface area to grow. The next one. Oh, I love this. Keep your roots deep. Yes, the best vines have deep roots. And you know how the roots get deep? Through harsh reality of the weather. So give me a couple of hearts on that one. When you have harsh reality, your, deep, your roots get deeper and deeper, and you've got to dig deeper to your source, your I am source. You've got to dig deeper when you've got harshness and difficulty. And when the weather has been tough out in California, when they had the major droughts, I think there's getting a little relief this year, but major drought, not enough supply of water. The roots had to go deeper into the soil. And as they did, they pulled nicer, deeper minerals and a much richer flavor. The roots got further into the soil through the hardship of not so great weather. And that's the same for us. 
we want to get those roots in nice and deep. And I'm here to tell you, I know that the major way we do that is through hardship, through going through difficulty, through coming out on the other end. So get those roots in nice and deep. Find your source inside to take you through those harsh times and get those roots deep and that way you're firmly planted and you're also pulling from a deeper source. Hi, Kira Leela. Kira Leela, is that how you say your name? Nice to have you here. Number four. Oh, this is so big. And actually, in my kick ass career course and in my one on one coaching and in my corporate group coaching, as, as I do, I find this next one to be the biggest. Are you ready? Prune back before growth. Prune back before growth. At the end of all these vineyard rows, as I was running through the hillside and having a blast just being able to be in that area, at the end of the rows, they had just pruned back a couple of weeks earlier. They had just pruned back all of these nice, thin, little old vines that were just pruned back, cluck, 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 were in nice little, well manicured little piles at the end of each row, reminding me about the folks who had just gone through that vineyard and clipped and pruned all of the old growth from last year to make sure that they were readying that plant for growth. And had those plants been encumbered with all the old vines and tendrils and whatever we call those things in those uh, wonderful vineyards, had they been encumbered with those old branches from last year, they would not be growing. So we must clip and prune before we can grow. Sometimes I tell my clients, you got to put the groceries down in order to buy more. And it looks like we've got some other languages coming through. Sorry, I only speak English. So the hibiscus behind me that was flowering so much over the last couple of weeks was pruned back and I see some flower buds coming through. It's going to come back better than before. The flowers are going to emerge from pruning back. So I tell you that when I went through that vineyard and saw those old clumps of vineyards being just freshly pruned back, everything was totally open for new growth. All of those little buds on the plants, and I'm, I'm being a plant myself here, started to bud out. They had space to grow and expand. And one of the other major things I always tell folks is you've got to let go in order to grow. So where are you having those opportunities in your life right now to prune back, prune back, cut back things that aren't working for you, things that are dead, clean out a closet, clean up your email on your computer, maybe clean out the bookshelves and pull a couple of great books that you love and donate the rest of them. Where can you prune back? What's the word for using material that has no similarities but has a comparison? Whoa, that's like a whole grammar thing, the word for using material. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a metaphor. Maybe it's an analogy. Needless to say, I guess this whole entire periscope is a metaphor. <laughs> All right, analogy. Okay, boom. All right, so this entire periscope is an analogy, but prune back in your life so you can open your plant to grow. This plant, the power plant that's inside, prune back. So that's number four. I got eight, so hang in there. Stick with me. Number five, stand tall and be present. I didn't see any of those vines going, oh, not me, no, I don't want to grow, please don't let me grow. Please, no, I don't want to be great. I don't want to be awesome. I don't want to give my grapes. No, all of those plants stood tall in that vineyard and they were rocking it. They were ready to grow, spreading their wings, eating up the sunshine, getting their roots in deep, being relieved of their pruning. They were standing tall for growth and that's what I want for every single person on this periscope listening to this later, in the world, stand tall, be present, and grow where you are planted right now. If you want to move your planting, that's a different story, and maybe you want to get a clarity call at mofall.com to see if you need to 
st uh, change where you're planted. But stand tall. Be available for growth and be present all the time. All right, that's number five. Number six. Do 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 do. Hello, hooligan Batman. That's an interesting name. Make a career out of growth. Yeah. Make an entire life and career out of growth. You know, those vineyards stood the test of time. Like I said, through drought, through probably harsh winters or harsh summers with a baking heat, those vines continue to give beautiful fruit year after year. And the trunk gets thicker and the roots get deeper. And I'm sure the fruit gets better. That's us. That's you. That's me. That's life. Life in the vineyard is so perfectly matched with what we must do to have a rich life. So make a career out of growth. And for those of you who are just popping into this, I am Coach Mo Fall at Mo Fall. That's M O F as in Frank, A U L dot com. Check me out. I've got a ton of fantastic resources. Sign up for my updates. Every single week I do a motivational Monday. And this week, oh, I'm getting a little wind. This week I went a little off script and I did what I learned in the vineyards on my vacation. Paso Robles, shout out. All right. So make a career out of growth. And for those of you new to Periscope, feel free to screenshot any of these great reminders that you might have here. And I'll just get my little windswept hair going. All right. Ready for number seven? Be truly you. It's like my, my magic marker is coming through. Let's see if we can do this better. Be truly you. Be truly you. Your plant grows effortlessly. One of the things I find pretty consistently among my clients, both in my courses and my one-on-one -on -one clients, is this. Once they really know who they are, what kind of grape they are, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Pinot Noir, when they know their type of plant, they no longer need to struggle. They no longer need to push through. They just effortlessly open their branches. I'm not saying work is not involved, because it is. We still live in the physical universe. We have to move something from point A to point B. But the beautiful thing is once you know what type of plant you are, what type of grape you're growing, you just let it happen. And you let yourself be you. So be you as you're standing tall and being present in that vineyard, standing out with your arms stretched, your stalk firm and your roots deep. Stand up and just let yourself grow. Let yourself be you. And number eight, it's the miracle of nature. Let miracles happen. Open to receive. Open to receive miracles. And I want to, if I had a wine glass out here, I'd be like raising my glass. I have just my uh, water cup here. Do you like anime? No, I don't. Okay. Anyway, so open yourself to receiving miracles. Open yourself to receiving your growth. Open yourself to receiving other people's support and recognition and acknowledgement of how great you are. Give me some shout out on the hearts there, if you will, as I wrap this up with my vineyard lessons. And if you are ready for a kick-ass career, and you're not sure where to turn, where to go, thank you so much for all that loving. Book a clarity call with me. I also have on my website, Five Shifts to Your Kick-Ass Career webinar. I run it all the time. I love the content in there, and apparently many other folks do also. I covered the last five, the, the, over the last five or six weeks, each of the shifts. So if you want to check out my blog on my website at mofall.com, you can check out each one of those shifts individually or book the full webinar, see you on the webinar. Or hey, if you're ready to roll, if you've got a career that you're ready to build on and take strides and be that awesome grower in that vineyard, book a clarity call with me. I do those clarity calls for free, why? Because one, I want you to get introduced to me, I wanna to get to know you, and I wanna help as many people as I possibly can. So I open myself up several slots during the week. And if one of my coaching programs fits what you want to do, that's my opportunity to introduce it to you. That's all. 
It's a free clarity call. You're going to get insights. You're going to get ideas. And you're going to get lots of things to write down and to pursue. And I know in just that short period of time, we can make some shifts because I know how to shift folks. I grew multi-million dollar companies for publicly traded healthcare companies for 25 years by growing people. My last job was as a chief operating officer for a big multi-service line national company. And I grew that from 50 million to 200 million in three years. Yes, it was a lot of work. I grew a lot of people. Most of the folks who worked on my team all got promoted. I helped them be more. And I decided two years ago, almost to this day, to go ahead and move on to just doing the coaching part and the growing people. I love doing that. Those of you who've worked with me, I appreciate you being on this Periscope. I hope you've gotten some takeaways from this vineyard lesson. I had a great vacation. Whoops, I got another windstorm going through. I had a great vacation. Always lessons to learn and life lessons all around us. So as we take in the beauty of spring and the newly pruned hibiscus behind me, it's another reminder that when we prune back, we are poised for growth. So get those roots going deeper. Don't cling too hardly, too strongly to your support system and go for it. Stand tall and be present and be ready for growth. I love you all. I want you all to have kick-ass careers. And if I can do anything to help you, it's MoFall.com. See you next week on Motivational Monday. Bye for now. And it's all my notes all over the floor.